During post-election violence, Kibera was declared as a no-go zone, being uh, it was an opposition area. Instead of attacking Kibaki, they, were, they started attacking their brothers and sisters. I joined myself, I was the general of more than 213 youth who were burning down, destroying, vandalizing. John and his Luo gang looted and burned down Toy Market, the largest market in Kenya dominated by Kikuyu stallholders. The traders who were there, they lost everything. Many people lost their property, even some lost their lives. Okay, what boy? I was selling charcoal in wholesale, and also I had a, 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 a serial shop. They targeted me, they, they, they rooted me everything. Jami Bora set about rebuilding the market for their members. But first, Andrew needed to bring in the youths who had taken over the market. Andrew, when he came here after we invaded the market, my first order to young people was to go and get rid of him. I was threatened several times. He was telling me, if you are not going to surrender, I'm going to slash you using these machetes. Andrew held his ground. He offered John and his gang a deal, promising each of them a stall in the market and a 10,000 shilling Jami Bora loan to start a business. But now with the money in their pockets, the youth set out to spend it drinking. Andrew met them at the door of the bar. He came after me and told me, John, no, this money was for you, not you guys for to drink. This money was for you guys to start doing something for yourself. If you pay back this 10,000 shilling, we'll add you 20,000. So nobody thought of the 10,000 that we had in the pocket and that's how the celebration stopped and everything. On the next day, we were starting the business. The hooligans helped Jami Bora rebuild the market and provided security for the traders. Reconciliation began when traders from different tribes realized that they needed each other to survive. We had to come together again and continue to our, our normal business. I need their money. They need my food. So I must, we must work together. For the first time, Luo and Kikuyu started doing business together. We lost our people. During our post-election skirmishes, these two ethnics were not sharing one business premises. Immediately they were saying, no, you stole our vote, no, we don't want you. Now you can see, Akikuyu and Luos are doing business together. You know, they normally say that their tribe, they are not business-wise. But for my tribe, we are there, we, we, we know business. I had to, to take her from being a housewife, and I brought her here. Although she's a Luo, we work together now. John also found a chance to start over. I was using each kind of drug, some of the injections, smoking, sneezing, every kind of drug. And all these young people were using the same. You mug people, you threaten people, you beat people up. I decided if I can't change all this situation, then I'll be dead. It's between life and death. What will you do? John used his 10,000 shilling loan to start a metalworking business. He picks scrap out of the debris of the slum and turns it into new Jiko stoves and metal boxes. The pest problem in the slums means his boxes are in strong demand, and with free or low-cost materials, his margins are high. Those who don't have tables, they keep their valuables inside and they use it as a table as well. His business has grown steadily over the past couple of years and he's now paying off a loan of 150,000 shillings, nearly $2,000. In the past couple of years, he's gone from a life of drugs, looting and vandalism to becoming a businessman. And he's got big plans. He's going to register his company and hopes to sell to the supermarkets in Nairobi. He's also thinking about the next generation and creating opportunities for young people growing up in Kibera. I really don't want to see any young person leading the same life that we led. That's when an idea came for us of starting a football team. 
Inspired by the team that grew from the slums of Glasgow, John got together some young people and created Kibera Celtic. This season, they've won eight out of their nine matches. Through football, we have managed to get more young people out of negative life and today owning business all around. They can learn how to work with each other. They will learn how to share. Share problems, share investment, share what you feel, ideas, share everything. It's not just giving back to the community, but it's creating something to be an example for the rest of the world. Thank you.